I have no idea why you watch this channel. Look at that. So here's where the contest begins, guys. What a beautiful way to start off the week. Uh, we're gonna head down the woods. It's a very exciting day. Exciting news. Exciting milestone. So we're gonna go for a ride on Scoo. Uh, a little walk on snowshoes. Cut a couple of logs. Have a fire, big cook up. Talk about some exciting stuff. But before we do all that, we're just getting out of cabin now after two and a half months. So we got some cleanup to do with the snow situation. So stay tuned, boys. Lots of giveaways today. It's going to be good. Uh, snow has been there for two and a half months it wasn't a whole lot of snow three or four feet but it was uh gone really hard where it was uh settled there in the last two and a half months so a bit harder to clear but now she's all clear hey widow widow pan can we shed doors all cleaned up there now she's got one up there is cleaned up Get her all cleaned out there. Time to go and cut a couple of uh, logs and continue on with our build. all pretty. You were always pretty.
Just a little tip, guys. If you carry your uh, snowshoes like this with this type of bindings on them that uh, wind up, make sure you wind them up before you uh, hit the trail. Because if you leave them open, of course, all those uh, lacings are exposed to trees and might just hook in and, and tear them apart. So, so I just keep everything wound up. And that way, everything's unexposed. So all this area here is actually a bog and uh, usually on the edge of bogs you get the junipers or we call them junipers are really tamarack or lurch and they uh, grow fairly straight and fairly big and what happened back here the beaver actually came and flooded out this bog so all the trees are uh, either dead or dying so it was a good time to harvest uh, a little bit for firewood and uh, for use in my cabin kitchen so I'm going to look for two nice logs now and cut those to bring home and then we'll get a bit of lunch on the go. There's two nice ones right together too so I can drop the two of them and uh, Picked them up and one trail back to the skidoo. to keep her distance when I'm uh, sawing the trees down. She's a little scared by I'm falling down so that's a good thing. Nothing has landed uh, in her direction yet and hopefully never does.
So I'm really excited to try out this uh, new gear I got today. Something different than you've probably ever seen before. I know when I'm outside and I'm trying to carry as light as possible and as compact as possible, and you'd like to have a greet, you know? How cool is that? In the same company. You got this little uh, teacup that'll serve as a little kettle. You know, it's titanium. Got a little cover on it there and uh, inside of this cup. <clears throat> Neatly stacks a full set of utensils. There's your fork, again titanium, your spoon, and your knife. And you can lock your uh, utensils in place when you do that. You just stick that little lock over there and it stays in place. Also from the same company, they carry uh, silicone water bottles that are BPA free and they, uh, they fold up when you're finished with them. Some nice deer meat here today that my cousin Caleb harvested when we were up in Nova Scotia this past fall. And we're gonna try it two ways here. I'm gonna put some in the pan. And we're also gonna throw a slab of this meat right on the grill. Nice quick fry. The Montreal steak spice. Oh yeah. Same company guys, the Biddy Big Q company, sell this 14 in 1 survival tool. Got some cord there, I uh, got a can opener, a little saw, a couple of knife edges there, bottle opener, a little measuring tape, it's a whole bunch of stuff on that. And you just snap it right onto your Mountain Warehouse knapsack. And this grill is nice and big, but not too big, you know? You can move things around, you know? I want the steak to go in a little hotter place there now, so I got lots of space. So just put it over there. Now the company who sells this, again, they're called Biddy Big Q. They sell a whole bunch of stuff like this, and this particular grate got a real cool feature I'll show you at the end there, but uh, it only weighs 1.7 pounds, which is wonderful. And if you saw how small of a compact uh, space it takes up, and also, it's supposed to be made of this uh, 316 stainless steel, and, and you know all that means is that it's meant for extremely high heat and won't corrode as fast or bend as fast as the typical grills. And you can even put it inside of an oven, you know, at, at, at five or six hundred degrees, and it would still maintain its uh, original shape and style. I think the first course is done.
<laughs> you ready to eat my dog? Couple of mushrooms. Oh man. Mm -mm. Wow. Wow, that is good. This fork is nice and strong, and uh, it's nice and pointy too, eh? So it digs in the meat pretty easy. Mmm. Is that good? Oh, I think it's just about done too. Our water is just starting to boil here, so we'll have a cup of tea now. If that's not a delicious looking feed, nothing is. I cut open that steak now. It's been sitting there for three or four minutes. Look at that. Yum me. Nice and smoky. A little charred look. And just a bit pink inside. Oh my goodness. That is unreal. Cheers, guys. So juicy and smoky flavor and a bit of Montreal steak spice. Oh, man, that is so cool. Now, if you look at this grate, now you see the little uh, leftovers from the meat and the bread and stuff. Well, this thing has a cool feature that uh, helps clean that up. So you remove your grill, and when you do this, it self-cleans virtually all of that stuff that you saw on the grill. And if there are some stubborn bits left over, there's a little cleaning tool in the pouch as well. And I must say it uh, cleaned it pretty good just by doing that. Cool off very quickly. All back in the pouch again. So guys, we all meet little milestones in our life. And uh, I guess when I started filming for YouTube, 
I was just doing it to to uh, uh, record my own trips and show my family and stuff, and it quickly excelled, uh, you know, and I started to get a, some subscribers, you know, and it kind of snowballed after that. And uh, I did an interview with CBC Radio there last fall, and they asked me why they thought people watched my channel. And I can honestly tell you the same thing I told them. I have no idea why you watch this channel. What you see me doing on a regular basis here is what I do all the time. That's what I've done my whole life. I know there's some beautiful scenery and, and stuff like that, but basically, you know, all I do is just take my little GoPro camera. I don't uh, have any fancy camera equipment, and I just take that and I, uh, I just take it and, and document my trips. And I've always had an interest in, in, uh, in filming, uh, you know, the, the, the outdoors and wildlife and, and, and fishery and stuff like that. So it kind of fits well with my life and it's a great hobby of mine. So I've reached the 10,000 subscriber mark. And what does that mean? It means absolutely nothing other than the fact that it's a number. Uh, nothing's going to change with me or with my channel. I'm just going to keep on doing the same thing I always did, putting out the same content. And uh, sometimes it'll be twice a week. Sometimes it'll be once a month, just whatever happens to come along. You know, I'm not just going to film for the sake of filming. I'm going to film when I have something to film. Now, you guys ask me tons of questions, and I've had I've literally answered thousands and thousands of comments uh, over the three years I've had this channel. And I try to respond to all the comments. Some I don't see because they get shielded by YouTube or whatever happens. Uh, but for the most part, I see most of your comments and I read every single one. And I respond to most of them too, even though it's tiresome sometimes. But I just love to see what you guys are saying. And I've gotten to know uh, some of you, if that makes sense. But I, I look forward to my, my regulars. And, and they and you you guys comment all the time and and you guys give me some wonderful tips and you you tell me companies to look for gear for you know and and I don't know I just feel like I, I know some of you by this time and it's just refreshing you know my typical day starts off at about between five and six o'clock a.m. I love to get up in the mornings and uh, to look at footage and 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 that's when I generally edit my uh, videos you know before I go to work. Uh, my my full-time career as a conservation officer a lot of you guys have asked me that so usually with my work I'm outside and I took I chose that career because I love to be outside and then on my days off I usually go to my cabin or I leave my house and I'm outside again and I'm just fine with that that's what I like to do Willow's walking all around the background there chewing on sticks I don't think she's a little bit camera shy today and you guys love Willow too, my goodness, I, I'd say at least 25% of the comments I get are about Willow. And she's an Australian Shepherd and she's two years old and she's full of energy. And she, uh, she loves the cold weather. She doesn't mind it at all. And I put a jacket on her like I had today and, and it generally gets in her way and she pants a bit when I put it on. But if it gets really cold, I generally put it on. She's a real loyal companion and uh, we love her at our house. She's so entertaining. She doesn't make any noise, she hardly sheds, and this is just a perfect dog, a perfect breed for us. Oh my, the tea is so delicious. It was really, really cold this morning, minus 36 degrees Celsius, and minus 44 degrees Celsius with the uh, with the wind chill. But now, of course, you're in this wooded area here, and it's, uh, it's really warm, and I'm just down to my mountain warehouse flannel, which I'll get to in a minute here. So another thing that's amazing about this channel, YouTube in general, I guess. And I'm listen. I'm no expert in anything. I keep telling you that, guys, that all the time. And uh, you know, I'm certainly doesn't don't have a face for camera. <laughs> Far from it. And, and I consider some of my content to be extremely boring. But uh, you guys watch, and even more surprising, some of you guys send me things, and companies write me and want me to feature things on the channel. And I turn down companies, you know, if, they, if someone sends me a request to <clears throat> to show something or to try something out uh, that I just generally don't use, and I just say no, you know, I say thank you, but I just say no to it. But a lot of this stuff, I, uh, you know, like this company, uh, this company here reached out to me, it's called uh, BBQ for short, or Bitty Big Q, and they, they wanted me to try this grill. And I said, why not? You know, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It fits my lifestyle perfectly. I was so excited to get it. You know, this little cup here, all titanium, and got the utensils inside of it. You know, and the bottle, and the other knickknacks that come with it, the 14-in-1 tool. It's, uh, 
it's a great thing. This fits my lifestyle perfectly. So absolutely, I'm just glad to showcase it for them. And here's the good part. When they ask me what I would like to try it and, and showcase it in one of my videos, I said, yes, absolutely. But you have to send me some of the same merchandise for me to give away to the subscribers of my channel. So here's where the contest begins, guys. If you watch my last video, I'll put a link uh, in the description below. Uh, I featured a lot of mountain warehouse stuff. I've been dealing with mountain warehouse for years and I have so many things from mountain warehouse from, from camping stuff to clothes and knapsacks and pillows and uh, sleeping bags, you name it. A lot of my stuff is from mountain warehouse because it's not expensive and it's good gear. So it's a no-brainer. Why wouldn't I use it? Uh, they have several stores in Canada. You can order online. I get a daily email from Mountain Warehouse, and it's almost every day it's like 50% off, 60% off, 70% off, free shipping. So between Mountain Warehouse and Bitty Big Q, uh, I have some stuff to give away. It seems it is my 10,000 subscriber mark. You guys need to comment below and say you just say, I'm in for the contest to enter. And in two weeks' time from the posting of this video, I'm going to randomly draw a computer-generated draw from the comments. So make sure you comment in the video, not on my Facebook page or Instagram or anything like that. Make sure you comment in the video. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe because you'll see when I announce the winner. So what am I giving away? It's going to be one of those greats you just saw. It's going to be one of these mugs with the utensil set. And it's going to be the silicone uh, water bottle and the 14-in-1 tool. That's all for one winner. I'll package that up and send it anywhere in the world. And you guys have tuned in from over 50 countries. Doesn't matter where you are, I'll send it to you. The other thing is from Mountain Warehouse. Mountain Warehouse, if you watched again, if you watched my last video, you saw me using a real outdoor uh, forest green knapsack and uh, it holds up a whole bunch of gear got a bunch of pockets and it's secure you can strap a sleeping bag to it you can put your axe or your your uh, buck saw in there and all there's there's clips there for for you know using carabiners to clip other things on it's a fantastic knapsack and I have about seven or eight knapsacks from Mountain Warehouse so I'm going to give you that one and as well I'm going to give you one of these Mountain Warehouse hats. And with the pack sack, there comes a compass with it as well. The conduct just clips onto the side of the knapsack. Again, that'll be another winner. So it'll be two big winners. Um, again, comment below, like the video, and share it with your friends. Give them a chance to win as well. And on top of the Mountain Warehouse stuff, as I mentioned in my last video, if you check the description, there's a link down there that's specific to this channel, and it's for you guys, okay? You guys can click on that link. It'll take you right to Mountain Warehouse and right to the savings. And on below that, in that same link below, there will be a discount code just for you. You apply that discount code when you check out uh, of the Mountain Warehouse site, and you're going to have a significant discount. It's going to be more than 10%. Click on it and find out. And again, guys, that's for you guys, not for me. So, guys, that's it for this video. You saw me cut some uh, logs there for the outdoor kitchen I'm building at my cabin. And again, if you like and subscribe, you follow me along as I'll continue to build that kitchen. I'm going to cut a couple more logs for it now, but you'll have to tune into the next video to see what that's all about. Well, my tea is all gone. And the meat is all gone. Willow's obviously full because she's left the uh, dinner table, we'll call it. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I'm glad you enjoy the content. I'm glad you enjoy the channel. And guys, being outside is therapeutic for me and my family. It's a great spot to be and is away from all distractions. So until next time, get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. See you later, guys.